So we have our pipe collision and we have what is starting to feel like an actual game now that we can hit the pipes and lose so it's a bit of a challenge to actually get through the pipes but now we need to make a way to count how many pipes we've gone through so we need to create a scoring system. We can start off by going down to our pipe prefab and we're going to need to create a trigger inside of our pipes to know when the bird is going through it. So you can just right click here and do add empty and I'll just call this one something like pipe point um, and then up in the top right I'm just gonna turn on one of these indicators so I know where it is and I'm just gonna add a box collider I'm just gonna add a box collider 2d to this now if you click this edit collider you can move the collider around hold alt to scale it on both sides so I'll kind of scale it in to be on the the inside of the pipes so essentially what we want to do is whenever the bird crosses over this point it will count a point just remember this is trigger button let's check that on basically what that does is it makes the collider a trigger so the bird doesn't actually collide it it can go right through it without any collisions but it will still register that the bird has hit it so now we have that set up i'm going to go back and now we need to create a variable that can store our score now I'm going to do this right in the text object that's going to be displaying our score. So in our canvas, the same place that we have our game over text, now we can right click it, I'm going to go down to UI and grab text. So this will create a new text object in our canvas, I'm going to call this score. Um, if, it, if you press F, you can zoom out and it'll zoom right into your canvas or your score. Now this is where we're going to have our score be held and displayed. Now I'm going to be using a Flappy Bird font for this. I don't know quite yet how to make the images be our text objects here because if you notice in the Flappy Bird's assets that I've linked in the first tutorial that we've been kind of going back to, it has all the numbers in their original Flappy Bird images but I've yet to figure out how to put those together into a font to use in the game. So once I figure that out, I'll provide a new link with those. But for now, I have a, another font that's similar to it. It's not the exact same, but it's similar. I'll link that in the description. Now, first, I'm just gonna go down to alignment and I'm just gonna center it completely, just so it's in the very center of the text box. I'd also recommend in the uh, horizontal overflow and vertical overflow, change both of them to overflow because if let's say we have wrap and truncate on here if i turn the font size up you'll notice it just kind of disappears or if i were to scale this in let me turn the font size up if i were to scale this in what truncate does is it forces the text down the text box which we don't actually want so we can change this to overflow both of them to overflow now text can go outside the text box now you can take the Flappy Bird font that you downloaded and you can drag that into your assets folder. So there's the font, it's imported. What we can do now is in our score text, we can drag the font right into the box that says font. And now you can see it's changed to be very Flappy Bird like. So I'm gonna change the color to white just so it fits what Flappy Bird is supposed to look like. And I'm gonna drag this to the top of the screen. Actually what we can do is we can go to the transform box up here and if you hold alt and tab just uh, click this top one the top middle one basically this sets its position and its pivot to the very top of the screen um, and then we can just slide it down a bit so I think it's a pretty good font size for it but now we are going to need to set this text to our score first we need to create a score variable so we can start by going to our bolt and creating a flow machine and create a new one I'll call this I'm gonna call this one point control and we can click save so now we have our flow graph set up here quickly in the variables I'm just going to create one called score and call it integer because we're only adding up whole values here we want to go from 0 to 1 we don't want to go to like 0.5 or something like that so we can actually delete the start event if we don't need it. And in the update event, we want to set the text to this score value. So we can drag this out 
and look up set text and you want this one up here that says text because we want to be accessing this text object right here so we can click on it and then right here this is the text that this is going to be set to so you can change this to pretty much anything and now if I hit play you can see that the text will change to a smiley emoticon yeah there it is but we want to change this to our score text there are a few things we need to do though since our score is an integer we actually need to convert that to a string so I'm gonna drag this out and I'm just gonna type in to string it'll give you a whole bunch of different things here that say to string essentially what to string does is it converts whatever variable or piece of data you're giving it and it converts it into a string so we're going to use this one this object this will basically convert pretty much anything into a string but the reason we need it is because if we go to we can drag it out and go to our variables object and then get score you can see that the output is green so we can match those up so it'll take our integer value that's our score and convert it to a string so now if i click this you can see it's set to zero there it is so now we need to be able to update the score whenever we cross over the pipes so i'm actually going to do this in a custom event if you go to events you can scroll down to custom event Creating a custom event is very similar to like pretty much creating your own block of code. Whatever you put here can be repeated by calling this event. So I'm just going to call this event. I'm going to call this event increase score. So if I call a block that says increase score, if I use this name, I can call this event and it will repeat all the code that I put here. So all we want it to do is increase our score by one. So I'll drag this out. We'll go to variables, object, and then set score. Now in this green node, which takes in whatever we want to set the score to, we're actually going to go to math, generic, and then add. Because what we want to do is we want to take the score value and add one to it. So we can extend our A, go down to variables object and then get score and then down at b we can click integer literal and we can change this to one so now it's adding our score plus one and then setting it as our score now it's not actually doing anything because we haven't set up the trigger event so let's go to our pipe our pipe prefab and go to our pipe point now we're actually going to give this object here its own flow graph. So you can click on it, go to add component, bolt, and then flow machine. And we're going to create a new one. Let's call this point trigger. Now this is the place we're going to call that custom event we've created. Now we can do so in a on trigger enter. So if we right click and go to on trigger enter, you just search up on trigger enter, you'll get these and we want on trigger enter 2D. So this will call whenever the bird crosses over that box collider that we made earlier. Before we start writing code here, we need to create a new variable. This variable is a game object variable. In order to call this custom event, we need to have a reference of the object that's holding the custom event because we can't just call the custom event and unity will immediately know where it is we kind of have to specify where it's located so i'm going to call our variable point let's add it and we don't need to specify a type because the code will actually do that for us um i actually deleted the start event we're going to need that back so you can just look up start and grab the top one so here in the start event so on the start of the pipe's life cycle or its lifetime we want to set point to this game object that we've created so we can go to variables object set point and we're going to drag this out and we're actually going to type in find 
and we're going to grab this third one down here. It says game object, find, and then name. What this block does is it searches for a game object in our scene with a specified name. If we go back to our main scene, we can see that the place that we've written our code earlier, the game object is called score. So that's exactly what I'm going to type into that box. Right here at name, I'm going to type in score. So it basically right now what it's doing is it's finding a game object with that name and setting this variable to the game object. Let's go back to our scene real quick because what we're going to want to do is I'm going to click on the bird and I'm just going to add the player tag to it. If you go to the tags and hit the drop down, there should be one pre-made called player. If there's not, you can just add one, but I'm just going to do that so we can specify when the bird is crossing over the pipe because I like to do that just in case there's any other colliders that it could possibly collide with. I just want to be able to check that the bird's tag is player so we know that the player is in fact crossing over the collider and it's not anything else that could be messing up the score. So just to check this, I'm going to go to control and I'm going to grab a branch block, which is our if block. I'm going to drag the collider out and I'm going to look up tag and then we're going to click the top one, which is get tag. So let's drag this parameter piece on our if block. I'll drag that out and we're going to need an equals. I'll drag our tag into the top one. And in B, we're going to drag that out, grab string literal. And I'm going to type in player as this is exactly what the tag is called. So if these are true, which they should be, um, we'll output true. We'll go to events, trigger custom event. We're going to type in the name of our event. I called mine increase score. And with our custom event trigger, we're actually going to drag this box out. This is a game object so it'll basically find a custom event called increase score in this game object if it says self that's the default that means it's searching for this custom event inside our pipe point game object which we don't want so we can go down to our variables object and do get point because this is where we are storing that specific game object that we're looking for so everything should be properly working now we can go back to our scene. I'll focus back in on the camera by clicking on F. And if I start the game up, you can see that our score is now zero. And if I make my way through this pipe, there you go, it increases to one. And then two and should be three next and then just so on. So that is the basics to the score system in Flappy Bird. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, subscribe, cause that's cool. Also like the video as it helps the video out. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you later.